Okay, so we've talked about it a little bit already, but in this short video, we're gonna be covering again why keyword research allows you to custom tailor your products, services, and marketing materials around your perfect target audience. And that way you're going to get more traffic and more conversions. And the, the way that you wanna do that is by using these terms to name your products and services and also throughout your offerings and your advertising. That makes a big difference when people come across the, your materials and they see that, oh, she's using this specific language and you know she's a social media manager or she's a social media consultant. You know, using those specific terms and phrases on places on your website is going to make you seem like you're an authority, you know what you're talking about, as well as for the SEO purposes of getting you more traffic through using those terms, right? It'll also help you better understand your target audience so that you can tailor your offerings to better meet their needs. And also you can use these terms in your social media profiles, in your content, and even in things like contests and challenges, you can use these terms. So let's say that you're doing like a sugar detox challenge, right? Sugar detox is a keyword and maybe you want to make it a long tail keyword. Maybe it's 60, a 60 day sugar detox or 90 day sugar detox, right? So that would be um, something that you could use within your challenges and your content and your, and your contests. So those are just uh, a few examples of ways to use those things. I wanted to quickly show you, just give me a quick second, I'm gonna switch over. So right here, this is um, a person that I've done keyword research for and I was so happy to see that their company really took off after I would, was working with them. Um, this is Mama Chia, and maybe you've even had some of their products before. I know they are carried in Aldi's and Walmart and a few other places like that. So um, they, they do Chia drinks, and I think they might have snacks too. But basically, I helped them put together what their, what their uh, categories here should be, you know, how they should use these keywords. And, um, so we, we, we picked out what the main terms were and then that's what we made the categories on their, their website. And then of course they used the same keywords within their About Us and a little, uh, the Benefits page and things like that. So I was really happy. Um, this is just an example of someone who has taken the power of professional keyword research, used it to their advantage and their business has just grown so much since that time so when I first came across them they were just like a little uh, store that was trying to get started and now they're in all the major grocery stores across the country and that's just so awesome to see and experience um, another person that I got to work with was Crystal Wright she does career development um, especially for people that are in the makeup industry and cosmetology and those types of things. She she works with those types of people. And I was able to help her choose better keyword terms for people that, that wanted career development. So I, I really helped her find like career development coaching and those types of keywords, things that she now uses within her content. She didn't take my um, recommendations for her, her courses. Those were already created, so she didn't want to rename those, which I totally understand. And you don't have to. If you already have courses that are created and they're done, leave the names as they are. But if this is for new content and new courses, then see if you can find a way to utilize those keywords within your course names or product names, because I think that will help you in your long-term marketing strategy of getting more visibility in the search engines, being able to rank for those terms easier, and of course, uh, just more authority by by using the terms in, in your website and in your content. So. Yeah, that, she was another uh, great success story and person that I had a lot of success working with. 
basically she knew that she she was in the coaching niche but she just wasn't quite sure of what some of those keywords were and after we helped find what those main keywords that people were searching for her services that really helped double her business and now she's busier than ever coaching people so i was so happy to be able to work with her and of course um ascend marketing i've worked closely with them as well in doing customer research for their clients and that was something that they outsourced to me to help with and i've been able to help grow their clients and their campaigns tremendously by doing keyword research for them on a regular basis and i don't have any like specific details to show you here because i've actually worked on probably probably like two dozen of their their clients and their seo campaigns that i've done keyword research for so there's from plumbers to roofers to um people in that do landscaping and uh window washing and window repair um oh geez what else matchmakers lots of different um, businesses I've been able to work with through Ascend Marketing and helping them with their keyword research. So that has been amazing in, in watching their rankings grow just by utilizing the right keywords and then using that those keywords and those terms in their content. And that has just helped them drastically in their rankings. So those are just a few stories that I wanted to show you giving you ideas of how you can use these keywords for your best interest, for your target audience's best interest, so that everyone wins and that everyone is happy because all of these things trickle down, right? Our language is what makes people choose to do business with us or not do business with us. And using those specific terms and keywords and phrases is really important when we want to get more traffic and conversions. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Stay tuned in the next video as we continue on with even more tips in doing keyword research professionally.